Hi guys, I hope you're good. This is Shahig and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. Today is day 15 in the Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge courses, which I'm doing on Zoom with my students. I told you before I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things we talk about in class so you can also benefit from them. Before I begin, I want to let you know that the next series of Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge courses is beginning on August 23. So that's exactly 30 days from August 23 until September 21. So if you're interested, get in touch. This is my email address, shariq at globetrotwitharabic.com. So, yalla, let's begin. Today in the morning, I had my general three students. We were doing a song and we saw a word that took us to different places and to different expressions. Um, the, in that song, there was the word semmer. It's a verb, semmer. It's an imperative verb. It's a form two verb. In the past, it's samma with a shadda. And in the present, it's bisammer. Samma bisammer. This is a form two verb. It means to make someone else hear. Okay, if I want to make someone else hear something, I say ana bisammer. Bisammer. I will tell you more, more details in a second. So the form one of this verb is simer bisma. In the past is simer. There's no shadda. You see, there's kasra kasra simer. It means to hear. In the past, he heard. Huwe simer. He heard. Huwe bisma. In the present, he hears. Huwe simer. He heard. Huwe bisma. He he hears. But the verb we were doing in class is sama literally to make hear someone you will understand what i mean in a second so samma with a shadda in the past to make someone else hear bisamma to make someone else hear in the present so the difference is for example um, i can give you the example of i heard the news ana smart smart al akhbar ana smart al akhbar i heard the news but I can say, for example, uh, there is a new song which I made my friend hear. He had never heard it before. So I made him hear the song. So I played the song for him to hear. I can say, Anna Samat, let's say John, let's call him John. Anna Samat John El I made John hear the song. So I'm not saying I'm hearing, he's hearing. No, I made him hear the song. Anna Samat. John, el You see the difference? So John, سمع el John heard the song. بس أنا سمعت John el I made John hear the song. So from سمعت we can come up with an expression. So for example, I can say uh, to someone, ما تسمعني حكي. So تسمع is you make here. And the ne means me. Samane is you make me hear. Samane. Ma samane. Don't make me hear. Ma samane. Hake. Hake means speech or words. Speech basically. Ma samane. Hake. Literally, don't make me hear uh, speaking or speech. What does that mean? It's a way to someone uh, to say to someone, don't. Uh, try to give me a message or something indirectly i'm not gonna do it for you for example let's say um i don't know like uh, i i see a nice dress and i don't have the money to buy it and i go to my sister and i start saying oh there's a very beautiful dress i don't have money to buy it oh i wish i could buy it Maybe someday I can buy it. Do you think I can buy it if I save money? But I don't have money, but I, I'm worried that the dress will go away. What do you think? I really, really wish I could wear this dress. <laughs> then my sister doesn't want to give me the money. So she can tell me, Matsamai hake in the, in the feminine form. Matsamai hake. Matsamai hake literally don't make here speech it's a way my students said in English they say don't put bugs in my ear it's a way to say to someone like don't try to ask for something indirectly because I'm not gonna do it for you okay so 
او ما تسمعي حكي if you wanna say it to a girl now uh, you can also say uh, for example uh, somebody is making you hear words literally without saying it in the negative form for example uh, no, you can say to someone عم بيسمع حكي like he is making here speech or speaking literally he is making here speech you don't have to specify he is making who here no you can just say عم بيسمع حكي you know he's trying to make you deliver he's trying to deliver a message indirectly not necessarily when they're trying to ask for something but they're, when they're trying to indirectly say something okay عم بيسمع حكي I don't know for example uh, maybe I had a dinner yesterday and I didn't invite one of my friends and then he knows it and the next day he comes yeah some people were having dinner yesterday they didn't tell me or you know that wasn't nice and he's indirectly telling me that you know also I wasn't nice because I didn't invite him for a dinner or something so I'm be some hake literally he's making speech be heard okay so some hake in the past be some hake in the present and if you want to say to someone not to do it you can say hake in the masculine and matsamai hake and by the way all these all this sentence you can summarize it summarize it in one word which is the word lotshi lotshi is the noun it's a way to say somebody you know again makes you understand something indirectly lotshi and the verb of it is lottash bilottish Lattash. I can say to someone matlattish matlattish and if it's a girl I can say to her matlattish it's, it's another way of saying matsamma hake or matsamma hake so the noun is lattish and the verb is in the past lattash and in the present is bilottish and finally I want to even end it with one expression we say to someone yeah if you want to make it more fun and also you know sometimes it's not just fun maybe sometimes really you want to say to someone don't try to you know don't try to say things to me like that indirectly so for example again let's say if we go back to the scenario of the dress or something oh i don't have money la 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 my sister can tell me let samai ou let damai okay and if i'm a guy she will say let samai ou let damai what does this mean so as we said let samai means don't make here لا تسمع ولا and don't دمع دمع means to tear up لا تسمع ولا دمع don't make he, he, someone else hear and don't tear up like don't cry about it you know it's a way to say even if you cry or you ask for it indirectly or directly I'm not gonna do it so it's a fun expression to say لا تسمع ولا دمع and in the feminine form you can say لا تسمعي you add the إيه لا تسمعي it's written but we say it so fast that it sounds like in the feminine it's so next time somebody's trying to you know try um, ask something indirectly or deliver a mes message in a subliminal way or in a hidden way you can say I'm not going to do it that's it I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.